code red. A new jailbreak update is out and I missed it. So you know what that means? I'm late to all the hype. So let's not waste any more time and let's let's just get started because um yeah, if I upload this too late it won't get any views. So yeah, um I I know I'm wasting a lot of time just by saying this, but honestly, I don't really care. Um yeah. So first off, we obviously got the new winter map here. It's very nice and blue, just like last year actually. Um, honestly, uh, I really would like if the sand was like snow colored, like if it was white and it would fit in with the snow, but I mean it is a desert so yeah I kind of understand why they didn't do that, but I mean I'd still like if it was blue because it just kind of like you have all this blue and then you have this. So, yeah, hopefully next year they make this snow colored, but I mean, yeah, nothing too much. So now let's move on to the bigger things in this update. So first off here, we got this thing. So this pops up when you're using a vehicle and basically it shows your speed and how much you've traveled in this vehicle. And yeah, that's basically it. You can lock your car here. You could kick people out of your car right here. Um, the button disappears when no one is in your car and then right here you have your license plate So right now it says no, so I am going to change it to yes You could apply it for five hundred dollars and then you could just click this to change it again So yeah, pretty cool and then here at the bottom it shows your rocket fuel click it to buy more and now the security camera so basically to view these things what you gotta do is you gotta go up to one of these has some red and some blue on the side right here and then you want to press e on it and then this menu will come up so basically there's nine locations so far asimo did say on twitter that they will be adding more in the future but for right now this is all we got unfortunately but some things you should know about the security cameras Yes, you will see players moving on the cameras in real time. Unfortunately though, it is a bit laggy. And this is just for performance. And if it, was, if it wasn't if was laggy, then you'd be lagging a lot when viewing these cameras. So yeah, I mean, you gotta sacrifice something to have high quality gameplay. So before we rob the brand new jewelry store, I wanna show off the tanks here. So. To buy them, you could go to the military base and they're right at the end of the runway. You could buy them for 1 million in-game dollars and hopefully it spawns. Okay, I don't think it's gonna spawn, but unfortunately the tank doesn't have a high top speed, but it does have incredible acceleration for a tank, as you guys can see. Right away, straight to max speed. Very, very good. You could customize it, all that stuff. And a very cool thing about the tank here is that it can climb up a lot of things with great ease. So let's go to a steep hill and it can go up it really, really easily. Let's try this one. And as you guys can see, it's climbing up it very, very nicely, very, very smooth. And it's just very, very cool to look at, very satisfying. Um, and t if you're wondering how to use the turret, all you gotta do is you gotta hold down click and it should move the turret. So depending on where your cursor is, that will be where the turret aims. So if you're aiming at a helicopter, just hold down click and aim your cursor at it. And then you could press aim to fire and it does have a little cooldown, but I mean, it's not too much. And the turrets do maybe around 60 damage per shot so it's a very very good for a one million dollar tank so if you're if you're planning on buying it and you're not that sure if you should oh definitely buy it so worth it going in public servers with this thing is awesome unfortunately you cannot use rocket fuel but other than that this tank is truly awesome and now we got the brand new jewelry store here so i've robbed this a few times already just to get the hang of it but it's brand new with the exterior and the interior right here's the top the ladder is right here on the back just as usual and yeah it's much much more modern and it fits in with the new city it's what the city needed because the old jewelry store didn't really fit in but this one oh my gosh it's it, 
I don't even know how to describe it. It's just awesome. I, I seem I did a great job with designing this. But let's get started with the robbery. So I'm not going to rob all of it just so I could do this a bit quicker. And yeah, they removed the basement and now they made it a much harder. There are moving lasers here. It's dark red. So only the dark red lasers move down here. And to basically repay you for the removed basement, they added a second layer of jewel boxes as well. So you, so if the bottom is completely robbed, you can come up here and rob these as well. So that's really all with this. Uh, these two uh, floors. Unfortunately, they did remove a floor of obstacles for this. But I mean, the new floors are very, very hard. So that kind of pays you back for the removed floor. So let's go up now. And here is one of the six new layouts. All the old layouts are are gone from the game. They're deleted. And we got comp like brand new layouts here. So they're very, very cool. This is one of them here. And then this, the staircases now have lasers. So a bit more of a challenge when going up the stairs. And then oh, I haven't experienced, I haven't seen this floor yet. All right, well, I don't know what this one is. Um, all right, let's just go through it. And this is very cool. I haven't experienced all the floors yet. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of getting used to with this new jewelry store. So yeah, and now when you're on the top floor, there is some things that you should know. One, there's a camera right there. So that's how the camera looks. And yeah, unfortunately, the top floor never changes so this is going to be the top floor for a while until they decide to revamp the jewelry store again but i don't think that's going to happen for maybe a few years because this jewelry store it's just awesome it doesn't really need a revamp ever i think this is going to be the jewelry store for the rest of the game's history so yeah and then right up here you got some more room on the final floor and then to exit you could just walk out here and you know we also have season seven here so um i've already gotten to level two um while i was on my vacation but it's a very cool season uh we got all of these cool rewards right here i'm not gonna go th through and name them all but i will mention this one right here so we have the icebreaker for level 10 this season and basically it's just a Porsche. It's very, very nice and unique compared to all our other seasonal vehicles so far. So I'm very excited to get to level 10 and show you guys this vehicle. But for now, all we can do is look at it and hopefully it will be a fast vehicle. Because if we don't get a fast vehicle, oh man, I'm already, I'm already prepped to see all the negative comments on the CMOS tweets until the end of the season. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's fast. And there is also a new code. You can go ahead and redeem it at any ATM. It's winter update 2021. It'll give you 5,000 cash and it's only available for this week of December. And that right there is going to be the end of this video. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. And if you haven't enjoyed, please tell me why so I can improve my future content to fit your needs. And yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next video soon. See you all then. Bye. Yes. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I promise I'm not trying to make this video longer so I could maybe get monetized in the future. Okay, okay, goodbye. When your vibes in my mind, I can't get them out No matter how hard I try I need you and your heart next to mine, yeah, I'm all about